Hello, welcome back to chapter eight. Um, disobedience tastes like dry leaves. You're about to find out why disobedience tastes like dry leaves. First chapter or first part of the chapter, Daisy is doing amazing. She's fetching everything. She's even in tune with what is going on with Colonel Victor and his distaste for that clickety clackety thing. And we're going to see it kind of spiral out of control in the second half. So you'll see what I mean in just a moment. Let's take Daisy to the park and see how she does. Alex says after I've shown him 60,000 more times that I understand the command light switch. Outside, I don't even have to look at Colonel Victor to know what he thinks of the idea. I can hear the fluttering feathers in his voice. I don't like parks. Alex cracks his knuckles. He's trying to think of how to say something based on the eggshell thin blue color of his paws. Victor, he says, it's a low stress environment. We'll start with the park and build up from there. Colonel Victor isn't convinced. His face shadows stay stubbornly deep purple, the color of a bruise. You and Daisy here are partners, Alex says. She's been working hard for you all morning. You can't expect a dog to work for you if you're not willing to do some of the work too. You're a team, 50-50. That's the workload. These are the first words of Alex's that haven't made me what to upchuck. A team. Colonel Victor lowers his mirrored sunglasses. I prefer when I can see someone's eyes because eyes talk louder than anything. He nods once. He understands team. 50-50. Let's go, Micah. Micah huffs porcupine annoyance but joins us. We walk around the block to the park. There are all sorts of glorious smells out here, and I breathe in deeply. Wet leaves and dandelion and rich soil, and about 20 steps away, a chipmunk den. The breeze is swift and cold, and my fur dances in the wind. I feel sorry for humans that they only have fur on their heads. There's nothing more delightful than tinkling fur. There's an annoying talking squirrel to my left, about 10 yards away, shouting, Bring it, dog! You can't climb trees and you know it. There are 12 gossiping birds to my right, flapping in a deliciously huge puddle, but I know based on the tension in my leash that Colonel Victor wants me to ignore them. We do two laps around the small park and the Colonel's heart is thumping, but it's a red blood healthy thump, not a panicked one. He's doing very well in his training, and I'm quite proud of him. Maybe you should put Daisy on your left. Let her lead, Alex suggests, an arrow pointing the way. You might feel better putting her between you and anyone walking towards you. That doesn't help me with attacks from behind, Colonel Victor says, but he does it and shifts me to his left. Surprisingly, his face shade lightens, and I have to acknowledge Alex did that. We all relax when the Colonel relaxes, particularly Micah. Micah's heart is practically singing at the moment, which surprises me because he's not removed the terrible ear muscles. Let's see how Daisy does off-leash, shall we? Alex asks. Off-leash? The colonel's voice darkens like spilled oil. Alex smiles but doesn't show us his teeth. He reaches down and removes my vest, and the sudden nakedness makes me more than a little uncomfortable, to be honest. He unhooks my leash. We need to make certain she'll return when we call her. I'm free. Oh, Gloria, I'm free. For the first time since I was captured by that horrible animal control person, I am free. My muscles twitch like crickets. I could run wild. I could chase that horrid squirrel. I could tease the birds, take over that delicious puddle. But I'm unsure what to do. So I sit by the colonel's side and wait for my orders. Alex hands Colonel a stick. Colonel Victor nods ever so slightly. He doesn't want me to go, but he's trying. 50-50. He throws the stick. Go get it, girl. So I run after it. Ah, the glory of running. Every part of me is alive. My teeth sink into the meat of the stick and my jaws delight in chomping. My mouth in slobbering. Sticks taste like chewy, delicious wildness. I bring it back and the colonel hollers, Come, Daisy! 
After three more throws, the curl is humming inside his skin. He's so nervous being outside without me on my leash. Can we uh, head back in now, Alex? In just a moment, Alex says. His voice is pushy. I want to make sure she understands. Come. Like, I don't understand. Come. That's first week stuff, Alex. I'm all the way up to block and check and watch. And now, come. Don't be ridiculous. The colonel sucks in a tight, sharp breath and tosses the stick again. I have to admit, I'm having so much fun being off leash that I don't protest. Freedom is a fast waterfall. The needs of a dog are the same as the needs of a human, Alex is saying, but I'm not really listening. His butterfly words. I'm not listening to his butterfly words. The birds, they're chirping so beautifully. I could just gobble them up. They taste awful, though. Feathers taste like gloom. Safety, security, food, shelter, exercise. Alex natters on. I bring the stick back. The colonel throws it again. It feels so good to run. My paw pads squish in the mud, and I shiver with delight. The colonel's muscles are tight when I return with the stick the next time. I think we should go now, he says. Uh-oh. I've goofed off too long and the colonel is lost, ball, upset. If you're feeling anxious, maybe you should try to pet Daisy, Alex said. Train yourself to pet her whenever you're feeling. He leaves the sentence hanging. And the silence is plump with embarrassment that he can't find the right word. Dangerous. The colonel completes the thought like a hammer on a nail. Everyone's face shadows over that, especially Micah's. I need to cheer him up. And the last time I cheered him up was when I disobeyed Alex dragging that laundry basket of toys. I learned that early. I should do something yellow silly, just like that. Come, Daisy, Alex says. He pats his leg. Come. But I have a better plan. I decide to chase the leaves. They're just skipping around in the wind, chomping each one between my jaws and grinding them to dust. Ha ha! Look at me! Padoo! Ugh! So this is what disobedience tastes like? Dry leaves? Daisy! Alex shrieks. What are you doing? Get back here! Not until the colonel cheers up! Ha ha! Gotcha, leaves! Ugh! Miserable dust. Micah hops off a nearby bench. I'll catch her. His face is serious. His words a promise tight as knots. Ah, notice my antics have challenged the young one. Chase me, Micah. Micah, no, don't chase her, Alex shouts. She'll think it's a game. Come get me, kid. Ha ha, close, but nope. Alex leaps and misses me, landing thud in the dirt. I'll win, Micah. I will. Not now. Daisy, come. Not now, Alex. I've got leaves to chomp and a child to outrun. Ugh, this is so exhausting and tasteless. Miss Daisy, come. The voice booms down on me like a lid clanging on an empty metal garbage can. I tuck my tail and slink back to the person who shouted it, Colonel Victor. Alex huffs blue disappointment and clips my leash back on. He doesn't bother with my vest. I notice suddenly how cold I feel without it. Most inconsistent dog I've ever worked with. He mutters his words, pinpricks. Inconsistent is a new word for me, but the way Alex says it, it tastes awful close to useless. Micah frowns rain and dusts off his jeans. Worst of all, the colonel scowls, points the tip of his walking stick at me. I cower because I know sticks. Daisy, you know better. I do. I know better. Come as first week stuff. We walk in silence back to our car. He didn't call me miss. I don't understand why that didn't work this time. This pack is inconsistent. 
Okay, so that is the end of chapter uh, eight. Humans are weird. Chapter nine is next. So Daisy made made a choice that wasn't great today. Uh, so why why was her why was her choice wrong? Why was her choice wrong this time? Why wasn't why weren't her antics funny? Something to think about if you're in my class. I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to want to hear your answer. So thank you so much for tuning in to this wonderful wonderful book. I'm having so much fun reading to you. I will be back tomorrow with chapter nine. Humans are weird. Duh. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you soon.